Hello everybody, so this is your weekly card reading for the 27th of February through to the 5th of March. Uh, I hope you're all okay. Um, cold February is coming to an end, yay! And I'm hoping that March is going to be a lot warmer, a lot brighter and a lot more positive moving forward for us all, not just for me but for everybody because I know a lot of people out there have been struggling with various things I'm hoping that as we move forward, it's going to be a lot more positive. So, on that note, let's see what the week's got for us. Um, I've taken three cards from the deck, as always, so let's have a look. For today, through until Sunday, we have the Three of Fire card. A really good card to start with. Really positive. This card is all about the word abundance. Now, abundance, when we normally say that, we tend to think of money. Um, and it can mean that, don't get me wrong. Um, but abundance can also mean opportunities, it can mean uh, gifts, it can mean people giving you their time or their energy. So there's definitely really positive things coming to you over the weekend, starting today. You'll see that, you know, life it feels as though it's going your way for once and you're getting things back for the good things that you have put out into the universe so accept them graciously because you really deserve them and you really deserve to be happy so don't bat them away and think oh you know no no it's fine it's fine it's fine you know if good things are coming your way you deserve to have them so you know keep focused and keep going well, like I say things are definitely on the upswing things are definitely more positive than they've been for a while um, but patience is required you know, <clears throat> when things are coming in, when good things are coming our way, um, we have a tendency to want everything now, to the point that like we want it yesterday, um, but life doesn't work that way. So we have to know and have faith that the good things are coming, and they won't all come at the same time, but that doesn't mean they're not coming, you know. So be patient, have the faith. Keep focused and and make long term plans for the future. You know, keep your eye on the distance. Don't just focus on the here and now, although that's important as well, of course. But um, you really have fortune on your side, and it's going to last for a long time. So, you know, make all those long term plans. Think about where you're going or where you want to be. Um, and how you're going to get there. So, you know, keep focused, keep positive, keep the faith, and don't let anything or anybody pull you away from that. You know, people in our lives sometimes can get a bit jealous or get a bit <coughs> focused in their own drama and can try and pull you into it and try and pull you off your path. Um, a good little phrase I saw is if people try and do that, you just say, not my drama, not my monkeys, and just leave them be, leave them to it, because it's normally about them, it's not about you. So you keep focused, and everything will work out just the way you want it to. As we go forward into Monday and Tuesday, we have a major card for us, which is the Hermit card. Put that there. The Hermit card is a very spiritual card in the deck, um, and it is that point of being very aware of your spiritual self um, and also your inner self in terms of your mental and your emotional selves and you'll find that you're getting a lot of insight into the person who you are and and what you want out of life you know there's a lot of inner work to do <coughs> meditation's really good for that going within and really stopping all the noise of our daily lives and all the distractions that try and pull us off our path and just having that time, having that focus to go in and really connect to that higher self and really listen to the guidance that you get. You know, if you ask the questions, you will get the answers. It's just sometimes we don't listen to the answers. You know, we're so impatient that we just want them now and we can't hear them. Especially because sometimes our questions and our prayers are not answered the way we want them to be or the way we think they're going to be. So we think they haven't been answered. But we always get an answer. You just have to pay attention and you have to listen. 
So meditation is really key to that. Journaling works as well. So you literally sit down with paper and a pen and you just let the words come. You know, you don't censor yourself, you don't judge yourself for what you're writing down, you just let it flow <clears throat> until it stops and then you read back what you've written and uh, sometimes it can be quite eye-opening and quite enlightening. So it's just some ideas there to kind of connect to that higher self, connect to your spiritual side of you and to really do the inner work that sometimes we all need to do. The other point about this card is um, teaching. No, not teaching in the traditional academic sense, but spiritual teaching. Um, and either, see which one resonates with you, you are in need of a spiritual teacher. You feel the need to look for that, that guru or that person who can help you with an aspect of spiritual work that you feel you have been missing out on. So whether that's, you know, yoga meditation, um, psychic things, just, you know, whatever it is that you are seeking, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and be aware that <clears throat> if you are in need of a spiritual teacher, then this card for Monday and Tuesday shows that one is definitely on the way to you. So look out for that. The other thing about this card is that you may have spiritual knowledge that you can pass on to others. Um, whether this is in a formal setting, you know, where you have like seminars or classes where people can come in and learn off you, or you can do it in an informal way. So you could do it maybe through social media or just talking to people and passing on the knowledge that you have. But you could certainly have some wisdom to impart. Um, so I look out for that as well. Finally, Wednesday and Thursday, we have the Two of Earth card. And this card is <clears throat> about being super duper busy to the point that you feel slightly overwhelmed and slightly stressed and slightly like you can't cope. You have got way too much going on at the same time. So you are spinning plates, you are trying to juggle, you're trying to acrobatics, you're trying to blow out the cannon all at the same time and it's just like ah what do I do first it's too much oh my god I can't cope okay that's how you feel at the back end of next week first of all you need to prioritize okay so not everything needs to be done at exactly the same time okay so you write a list of everything you've got to do and you write down what it's got to be done by and you start with the first one on the list so the one that has to be completed first. Even if it's not the one that's the most fun or the one that you really want to do, don't put it off because it's just going to add to that feeling of stress. So tackle them in order, prioritise and you will work your way through them as you need to. Ask for help and accept that help, okay? I have really struggled with this. I'm one of those people who, you know, goes, oh, no, 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 I'll do everything. I'll do all the housework. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Then I'll be upstairs going, well, nobody's helping me. I'm just doing everything. That's fine. You just sit there. Real martyr, okay? It's not good. It's not healthy. And I'm very aware of that. If you, that's you, I know a lot of people out there have that problem as well, then you need to ask for help. Um, it doesn't make you weak, it doesn't make you, you know, any less of a person, it just means that you actually realise that this is a situation that you need a little bit of uh, assistance with, and then accepting that help when it's given to you. Um, it's no good asking and then, you know, people do it and you're like, no, no, it's fine. So, <clears throat> you know, you need to ask and accept are key things. Um, there's a decision to be made with this card as well. There is a decision that you don't really want to make. There's a decision that you have been putting off. Um, and this card is saying that you really need to get it done. Okay? You need to make that decision. So seek advice from somebody who certainly you trust and you respect. Who will listen to you, to what you've got to say. And then actually gives you the advice that you can act upon. Okay, that's what I'm being told. So just be aware of that. If you are struggling to make a decision, or you have been, talk to somebody that you trust and listen to what they've got to say. Because 
it's certainly very appropriate for you so just be aware of that so really interesting week again we always have these don't we every week wonderful weekend abundance coming your way lots of happy things which is fab Monday and Tuesday, a bit of inner work to do, a bit of spiritual work to do, uh, and teaching involved with that. And then Wednesday and Thursday, uh, being super duper busy and being a bit overwhelmed and stressed, but asking for help because we know that's the right thing to do and prioritising. Very important. As always, guys, you know, if you need me for any guidance or any, you know, help you with anything, please come and ask me. Um, I'm always here for people who need me. My, I'm on Facebook, of course, and Katie Golby, or I'm at my website, which is psychicmama.co.uk, and there's lots of different readings on there. There's tarot, there's angel cards, there's aura readings, past life readings, so go and have a look, and I'm sure I'll be able to help you. All right then, guys, I'm going to head off, because I've got lots and lots to do myself, but I will speak to you soon, and I wish you lots of love and light. Bye.